Tonight, President Trump's dramatic change in tone on Hurricane Dorian. Now that the storm is barreling towards Florida, where the president, of course, owns nine properties, and it's also state he won in the 2016 election, he is praising the state's leadership and urging everyone to be careful. Unfortunately, the bad news is it looks like it's going to be making a turn into Florida. We're very ready also in Florida, and we have a great governor there. He's incredible, doing an incredible job. Well, just yesterday, as the hurricane was poised to hit Puerto Rico, the president called the island one of the most corrupt places on Earth, lashing out against the island's leaders and complaining about disaster relief funding. Out front now, Scott Jennings. He served as special assistant to President George W. Bush and is a CNN political commentator. And Maria Cardona, she's a Democratic strategist and CNN political commentator. Maria, you look at that very different uh, tone from the president uh, as the hurricane was heading towards Puerto Rico versus yeah. Florida. What's behind it? You know, sadly, it, it is something that is incredibly infuriating, but not surprising after the vile way in which Trump responded to, pre, to, uh, to Hurricane Maria two years ago. It, it shouldn't surprise us. Look, the hurricane is now headed to Florida, which, as you mentioned, it has nine Trump properties. It also has 29 electoral votes versus Puerto Rico where there are certainly three million American citizens, which I think this president forgets conveniently, but they are Hispanic, they speak Spanish, and clearly zero electoral votes. And so I think that there is not a coincidence in terms of the difference in which this president has treated the American citizens living in Puerto Rico since two years ago uh, with, with Hurricane Maria, and then now when he blamed the island for being in the path of the hurricane in the first place versus how he is treating Florida and showing compassion and showing sympathy, which is exactly how he should act, but he should act that way towards all American citizens, including ones that live uh, in Puerto Rico and, frankly, in other territories, and he has been unable to do that. Scott, do you have an explanation for why the president behaves differently uh, as the hurricane barrels down on Puerto Rico versus Florida? Uh, well, first of all, I'm grateful that the hurricane is not hitting Puerto Rico, and I'm sad and will pray for people in Florida because the hurricane is hitting them. That's number one. Number two, I think the president has well-known problems with the way Puerto Rico is managed, and any objective observer uh, would argue that Florida is a much better managed piece of land than Puerto Rico is. As That's a storm is barreling true. down, Scott, is that is that acceptable for a U.S. president to talk about it in those terms as the people are, are awaiting the approach of a devastating storm? Number three, my preference would be for the president to treat all American territories and states the same. They're all American citizens. They all deserve the same compassion and the same uh, note towards disaster relief. So I think the president should treat everybody the same uh, if you're an American uh, citizen living in a territory that we manage. Uh, but to argue that the president of the United States only cares about Florida because it is a state that has electoral votes, or to argue that he doesn't care about Puerto Rico because it has uh, people of, uh, who are Hispanic, when a quarter to 30% uh, of Florida is also Hispanic, I think only the most mindless partisan would argue that. This is a hurricane. It is an emergency situation. Florida gets hit with hurricanes all the time. And so if your argument is the president uh, should turn a blind eye towards this, I, I don't even know what to say to well, that. That's not, that's not the is, argument. The question is the president's words. But Maria, what's your response? This is, this is, is partisanship at its worst and at its yeah, worst time. I mean, and I just it, think it's terrible. Scott is kind of making my argument for me. Yes, he should respond to every hurricane and natural disaster where people's lives are in the path of that disaster the way that he, he is responding to Florida. He did not do it to Puerto Rico twice now. What is the difference between Florida and Puerto Rico, or frankly, between Puerto Rico and Florida and Texas, when Texas was in the eye of a hurricane also two years ago before Maria and then after, you know, during Maria as well? What is the difference, Scott? The difference is that Puerto Rico, most of the people there speak Spanish, have brown skin, are Hispanic, and they have zero electoral votes. I'm sorry, but those are the facts. If there's any other reason that you can think of as to why the president treats the 
3 million American citizens in Puerto Rico differently. And don't tell me it's because of the corruption from the leaders. The people in Puerto Rico, the 3 million Americans in Puerto Rico should not be blamed for the corruption of their leaders. And yes, I believe that they are corrupt. And guess what? The people of Puerto Rico got that government out. That has nothing to do with the fact that this president should act in a humane way towards all American citizens. And he has been unable and uninterested in doing that. Scott, I just want to quote some Marie, words. The, the way the is, president is that just, because people in Puerto Rico have brown skin. Let, let me quote, if I can, Scott, the, the president's words. Hurricane. How uh, many Hispanics live in Texas and Florida? That is an, not, that's not the an majority. insane argument. There are not millions the of people of Hispanic origin not in Not the states. majority. Scott, let me quote the president's words, if I can. The mayor of San Juan has, she's horrible. I think she's terrible. She's so bad for her people. Uh, and then when he describes the governor of Florida, Ron, one, he's been great governor of Florida. He goes to San Juan. Frankly, she doesn't know what she's doing. I, I, I'm just wondering, I mean, the, the difference in the language as the storm was barreling down was, was marked. I mean, yeah. what explanation do you have for that? Look, I think it is a well-known fact that the president and the mayor of San Juan do not get along. And look, my preference would be that the president would save these political beefs for after the storm or when there isn't a storm. I totally agree with you on that. But it is... It is objectively a fact that Florida, under this governor, under the previous governor, and the previous and the previous, it is a much better managed place in times of emergency than is Puerto Rico. And so I think the president should it, not Scott. go on political attacks during storms. I, I'm with you on yeah, that. He but I think to argue that this is race based or political based, I, 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 when the storm is barreling down, it's I kind just of obvious. I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, well, the majority of the people in Puerto Rico see it. They can't stand Donald Trump, and they can't stand him because of how he reacted to them during Hurricane Maria, because of how he denied his vile response that, frankly, led to 3,000 deaths of American citizens. And to this day, he hasn't been able to live up to the that hurricane, and to apologize for it. The hurricane led to deaths. The hurricane, the hurricane led to deaths, Maria. response led to their deaths as well. The lack of a response, the lack of his humanity, lack the lack of, a of response. his caring. The, the U.S. government yes, has spent billions the there. We had massive amounts has, of resources what there. Has right. led to the deaths. We're going to have to leave it there. True. Scott Jennings, it Maria Cardona, uh, <laughs> thanks so much to both of you. If there was one place we, we'd like to have politics taken out of, it might be a response to a hurricane. You would Appreciate think. you joining us tonight.